Good day guys, welcome and thanks for watching Fishing Adventures Hawks Bay. If you're new to this channel, I'm Jono and I make all sorts of fishing related videos just like this one. So please consider subscribing. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make the best rig when it comes to bottom fishing. And it's called the Twisted Dropper Rig. Now the purpose of this rig is to stop your hooks and your baits from twisting and tangling around your main line, especially in a high current situation. It therefore also increases your chances of actually getting a hook up and landing that trophy fish. Now if you're a Kiwi, you're probably already using this rig, but for the rest of the world, here's how it's done. So in fishing terms, we call this an arm and we call that a farm. So for this rig, you'd need about a farm's length of leader line material. This is mono. So we start by taking an arm's length from the first side and then making a little kink right there. Now start twisting the line in your left hand towards you and in your right hand away from you. And then give this three to four twists. Now what you want to do is pull it apart and this helps set the twist. So I pull it all the way to the top and then slowly letting it go again. See how that stands right now. So give it another couple of twists and pull it tight again. Then let it go and you want your dropper to be about 20 centimeters, you can make it as long or as short as you like. I like it to have it about that long. Now what I do is I make a little loop in the end, double it over, and then I make six twists, which means there's going to be three turns on each side. And then through that little opening, I stick this into the opening and holding it up, making sure that all the twist has gone through the little loop. You then start pulling it tight. So when you get to about this stage, you just want to moisten it, lube it up, and pull it tight. So now there you can see how does it, how that stands pride, and it's a lot stronger than a normal dropper loop would be, especially when you have weight on that. It will be a lot stronger. And for the second side, we only take half an arm's length and then make a little kink in the line right there. So now from your short side, you do the same thing. Left hand towards myself, right hand away from myself. And I do three to four twists. And pull it tight. All the way and then let it go again and then make another couple of wraps and pull it tight and let it go. So once I have about that much, again, I make a little loop, do my six twists, and then stick that end in through the loop lube it up and pull it tight. Now with the short side what I do is I fold it over itself and just do a little over overhand knot. I just do one, you can do two if you like and that is just where the sinker will sit. That will be my first dropper and up the line that would be my second dropper and then the the longer end 
I will attach a swivel to that and that will go to my um, main line. So now I'm going to show you how to attach the hook to this rig and a quick tip as well when you're using circle hooks always insert the loop from the hook side into the hook not from the back side so you want to insert it from the hook side into the hook and all I do is push the little tip through the opening in the loop and pull it back so this way your hook sit like that as soon as a fish strikes that bait it'll hook itself in the corner of the mouth every time but you've got to have it like that if it sits the other way it sits up there's a chance that fish might come up from the bottom and you might still miss that strike so I'll show you what it looks like the wrong way if you insert it from the back and you go in like that and then through so if, it's, if it sits like that or pointing upwards normally pointing upwards more that's wrong the fish can come in from the bottom take your bait and off it goes and your hook up ratio would be a lot less if you have the hook sitting like that so definitely have make sure you put the hook in the right way getting it from the hook side go in through the eye and then just feed it through that little loop and pull it tight so when you do it the right way around that will definitely increase your chances of actually getting a hook up every time that fish comes to grab the bait if you've missed this video, then click on this link. And if you've missed that video, then click on that link. Click on the logo below to become part of my family.